As business owners, we constantly have to make a decision, and I know it can be exhausting. Today, I would like to talk about、uh, the fact what decisions we have to make, what actions we have to take、uh, to propel our business to the next level, especially when it comes to tough economic times. Because I, I believe I'm not the the only one entrepreneur who is seeking how to reduce my expenses in 2024. In fact, I made huge cuts in my business when it comes to expenses. However, one expense, one investment, rather, I did not cut is coaching in my community. In fact, in this turbulent Challenging economic times when leads are slowing down, conversions are slowing down, and there's a lot of uncertainty in the air. It's election year. In this challenging and unpredictable economy, unpredict unpredictable、uh, climate, I lean heavily on my mentors and on my community, and I cut everything else. I cut all other expenses. What, like whatever software I was not using, I cut it. Whenever, like whatever did not produce income in my business, immediately right now cut. But、uh, when it comes to making a decision, it is essential to take calculated action and act rather out of faith with taking calculate calculated risk. Rather than on on fear, because if you want to take your business to the next level, you have to act. You can't just sit and wait. What if it will take another like I don't know like five six years for economy to swing back? So you're gonna just sit here, being miserable and not do anything in your in your business. And in fact, when I know from my experience, when I know from my experience, entrepreneurs, business owners who took action. Took a leap of faith, they achieve the result. They achieve the result, and the result is either learning what they need to do next to bring the revenue, to bring the income for in their business, or it is actual like money. Like in in any way, they know, like they have more data, they have more clear path. Entrepreneurs who did not take action. What I'm seeing right now, their business either on a decline or they never started a business. They never made a pivot. For example, you want to make a pivot into、um, educational space, maybe into coaching. Right now, it is the time to take action because, listen, better time. Like there's no such thing as better times. There's no such thing. I have enough money. There's no such thing. I'm completely comfortable. Entrepreneurship is about being uncomfortable, being comfortable with discomfort. It's never the right time, and it's never the right time. I told I I talked about it before, but when I started my business, I got laid off after securing just first client. Again, I had a chance. I have a choice, and I had a chance to make a decision either out of fear. And not to continue with my business, and not to hire another coach who would help me to sell more offers, and just like you know what, I need to go back to corporate. I like I need to find a corporate job. Maybe when I、uh, find a corporate job, maybe when I have more money, maybe when I have more clients, I will invest ten thousand dollars in my next coach. I did not do that. I invested in my next coach immediately because I I calculated my risk. I need to make money now. Yes, because hey, I just moved to Seattle.、Um, I have huge expenses, and the fastest way for me to、uh, bring money right now is actually betting on my business. Because yes, there's a lot of risk. People may not come, but also like when people come, they come. When people come, they pay. They pay immediately. I can I can get cash injections just like that in my business、uh, right now. And it worked, and I'm not saying it was easy. It was just you know, like I just post something and people、uh, and people came. It, it was quite challenging. Entrepreneurship is quite challenging. But if you're sitting here and acting out of fear and、um, 
you were thinking like, well, I just do not have money. Listen, listen, more money is not coming. More clients are not coming if you're not doing anything. And this is your choice. Either you give up and say, you know what? This is not for me. Entrepreneurship is not for me. Building my consulting business is not for me. Building my coaching business is not for me. But be honest about it. Be yes or no. If it is a no, and it, it is a no, and it is okay. Or be yes. Like, you know what? Yes, I know it's scary, but I'm going to bet on myself. And I'm going to do needle moving activity to get me there further. And I understand when you are in this situation when you truly do not have money. Like, okay, how I can make money right now? Like what, like what information I can use right now? What mentorship I can use right now to make money faster? Like, for example, you can follow me on, on this um, podcast because I, I pr um, put a lot of really good information. And if you, if this episode is sponsored by my private business mentorship program, Heart and Profit mentorship program. Uh, to find out more, uh, go to the description or show notes for this episode, find the link to schedule a call, fill out the form, and send me a DM so I can tell you more about the program or just send me a DM on LinkedIn or Instagram and let's chat. Okay, back to the if show. You, if you put that information into action, you will, you will produce cash injections that will move your business further. And this is how you make money. Maybe it's finding employment because listen, I am not that kind of business mentor who will tell you like, hey, never find a job, never get a job like you are in business. And if you're working nine to five or if you work in side gig, you are failing. No, you got to do what you got to do. Like fi figuring out, like figure out how to bring cash injections or cash flow that you can sponsor your business. That's completely normal. And this is your action. Like, you know what? Right now, like maybe it's, there's a challenge in time, but I'm bringing the cash flow into my business so I can bet on myself. But what it is not when you say, hey, like uh, maybe not right now, maybe, maybe, maybe sometime soon. I ha I've seen so many entrepreneurs who did not take any action on their next dream, who did not take any action on moving needle activity. And right now, their business either completely in a decline or they do not have a business because they do, they just don't have it in them. And it's okay to be honest with yourself and say, you know what? I'm not building my business. I'm not, I, I'm not betting on myself. I just gonna like, I just rather go to corporate or I just rather do something else because it, like it is a tough journey and I'm not dissuading you from entrepreneurship quite the opposite if you are in this if you're betting on yourself you are in this it is your life but yet your yes be yes and your no be no choose the direction and go for it and if you are uncomfortable in investing in private advisor or private mentor or making investments in your business because in your business you constantly have to make investments you have to hire people it is scary hiring people is scary you uh, uh, hiring assistant is scary hiring videographer is scary hiring editor is scary is scary hiring copywriter for your email campaign it is scary thing but you know what? We don't walk by fear. We walk by faith. Because I know if I hire a personal assistant who will save me time to work on my business because my time is so expensive. Time is not money, but time is an asset. And I have to use my asset as a CEO of my company. I need to pr uh, spend my time wisely on money producing activities maybe editing next video is not my best activity maybe um going to a grocery store is not my best business activity i'd rather have somebody else to do that for me or maybe use instacart or maybe use something else like to free up the time for my business for needle moving activities maybe i need to invest in in the next coach and listen and it's never comfortable Investing five, ten, uh, 
and more thousand dollars in your personal development in your professional development is not comfortable because there's always that voice what if what if what if but i my voice what if it is going to work out has to be louder your voice what if it is my next breakthrough has to be louder and listen i understand you might have invested in programs that were not exactly the right fit I've been there. I invested in programs that were not quite the right fit. We all been there. But you know, I don't let those experiences to be just experiences where I'm just disappointed in personal development and education. And just like I'm taking the lesson and I know not to work with that person ever again. I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I learned my lesson. And also like for, I don't know about you, but even when I was in a container that was not the right fit for me, I found connections. I found positive aspect of it always because every experience it's like it, over, we, we live in dual reality. Every experience has a positive and negative effect on your life and on your business. And even containers that were not exactly the right fit for me, I have positive outcomes. I have positive experiences. I have positive things in my business that were actually working. And maybe some of the things that did not work out of time started working later in life, started working later in my business when I was actually ready to receive that result. Because we also sometimes, sometimes we all, uh, sometimes we confuse I'm not getting results right now immediately because I'm impatient. Like I want, I want to make, um, I don't know, like million dollars or like I want to hit 250 K now versus, oh, like there's actually a process and there are actually a systems that I have to implement in my business to get there versus like that container is just not for me. Then those two different things, because if it is a patient thing, patience thing, we have to be patient. Certain, certain techniques that you learn from your mentors will work for you as a lifelong asset. It is not a quick fix. It is a lifelong asset that you're going to do over and over and over and over again to get, to get you there where you want to be. Especially right now, we are so quick to jump into conclusion that something is not working because the economy is slower and we don't have the cash flow as we used to have. And it's just the, real, or the reality. We have to build relationship. We have to build trust. We have to cultivate community. Um, but people are still buying. Even in this trust recession, people are still buying. And it, it, it is just re the reality of this economy. And the best thing that you can do in this economy for your business, the best decision that you can uh, do for your business is to take actions for needle moving activity, investing in the right uh, mentor, investing in the right resources, and also cutting the resources that no longer serve you. For example, for my business, I cancel my, I cancel so many subscriptions. It's not even funny. I cancel subscription for member vault because I understand that for my community, for my clients, it's not about watching another module. It's actually implementing and taking actions in their business. And I rather provide them curated series of videos or lessons that are essential for their business right now. They don't have to watch five modules that have nothing to do with their business. I, I, I don't want to run my mentorship business like that. It's not Netflix and chill. Also, I cut expenses with my streaming software um, because um, quite honestly, you know, like just to stream on multiple channels and pay for $50 per month. I mean, I don't know, like uh, call me cheap, but it is like it is a little bit too much. Instead, like, and instead, what I started doing, I started uh, leveraging uh, going live on different platforms natively. And what I started noticing, going live on YouTube natively actually brought me more views. 
versus if I were going through a third party. Going on LinkedIn uh, natively, I wouldn't say that it necessarily brought more views, but I, I noticed when I work natively with the platform, platform pushes my events, pushes my uh, live streams a little bit, a little bit better, quite honestly. I also reduce expenses on things that like I, I did not use at all. For example, in my business, I did not have to have the whole lot of automation because again, like I built my business in a very simple way. So I don't have to pay for, for example, things like Zapier because everything like everything is connected. My clients, when they finish the payment, like they, like they get everything right there and then. Will I repurchase those systems and those software, like that software in the future? Possibly. But right now, like right, right now, those little things, those little things, like they eat up so much budget. And when you reduce this $50 subscription, that $50 subscription, that $70 subscription, that $20, that $15, here we go. Like it's almost like five hundred dollars per month. Save, if not more. Memberships, you know, that like I'm not using my personal membership, my personal subscriptions. Like when I look at my um, Apple subscriptions, like like, oh my god, I'm losing so much money, and I had no idea that I'm not using a half of my subscriptions. Period. It's about doing a thorough analysis. It's not about cutting the most expensive thing. It's about cutting things that are sucking money out of your business, out of your life, out of your budget, and rebudgeting those money for needle moving activity. This is like this is how I save money personally in my business, cutting expenses. And and also leveraging systems that I already have. I have so many systems that work perfectly well and I can use right now for my business to bring the same, th the same results that I would pay for other subscriptions, like anything from $15 per month up to $70 per month. Those like, listen, that software is just expensive. I can go on the rent and on and on and on. So if the money is the problem, if you're concerned about the money, Think about how you can reduce your expenses on the things that you're not using. Because so many people rather pay $50 per month on a subscription that they don't use rather than redistributing that money into mentorship, into assistant, into money producing activities. It just doesn't make sense to me. Listen, my invitation for you today, take action. Take the next action for your business that will produce you income. If it is investing in a coach, book a call with me. If it is hiring somebody, like start interviewing people. You don't have to hire them right away, but at least you start like practicing that muscle. Lean into difficulties, lean into challenge and lean on your community and lean on your mentor. That's all for uh, that I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.